Hello friends, I am Rajini Sharsandran. And now we are going to do one another question in the same topic, projection of lines parallel to one of the reference planes and inclined with the other. A line MN is inclined at an angle 30 degree with VP and parallel with the HP. The point M is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. The point N is 60 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the line MN and you obtain the true length. See, this is the problem. The problem is, a line MN is inclined at an angle 30 degree with VP. So, what is the 30 degree? It is the true inclination of the line with VP. So, how can we represent the true inclination with VP? If it was the true inclination with the HP, it can be represented with the theta. And here, it is the the true inclination with the VP. So, it is represented with the phi. So, phi is equal to 30 degree. The line M and phi is equal to 30 degree and the line is also parallel with the HP. Okay. So, inclined with the VP and parallel with the HP. The point M is, the point M is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So, the point M is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. And the point N is 60 mm in front of VP. And the point N is 60 mm in front of VP. We have to draw the projection and we have to obtain the true length of the line. So, this is the question that is here. So, from there we can start. This is the XY line. This is XY line. We can start with M. Point M is 10 above 20 in front of. So, this is our M dash and this is our M. So, the point M is the point. Now, what about the N? The point N is given as 60 m in front of VP. 60 m in front of VP means uh, below the XY line and at the 60 m, there, there we can locate the small m. But where we can locate the M because at a distance of 60 mm from this xy line in, uh, in the downward direction we will get the infinite points right. So in that point, in those points where we can take the point in for that we need to have the distance between the projectiles m and n. If the distance between the projectiles through m and n was given, it would have been e, uh, easy for locating it because that n will be on the projectile line of n. But that data is also not given. So, what we can do is, we can draw a line here at a distance of 60 mm from this xy line and then in, uh, so that in that line the point small n will come. See, at a distance of at a distance of 60 mm at a distance of 60 mm from the xy line, we can draw a line. In this line, at some point, the point is small and will come because all the points on this line are at a distance of 60 mm, right? And it is given that the point N is 60 mm in front of it. So, in this line, the point N will come, and this line is known as locus line of small n. This line is known as a locus line of small n. So, we have now the locus line of small n. Now, the question is given that the line is in inclined with VP and parallel with the HP, right? So, when a line is parallel with the HP, its top view will show the true length, right? What is the top, the top view of a line MN? The top view of the line MN will be small m small n. We have small m, we have a locus line of small n so that in this line somewhere the point n will come. So when a line is parallel to HP, the top view will show the true length. That means the m n will show the true length. And true length is given? No. Is true length is given? No true length is given. If the true length was given, we know that the mn, should, MN will be the true length. The, Mn will have the value of the true length so that if you this point, if you are able to draw an arc like this, then arc will intersect some point here so that that will be the true length. 
But Tulan is not given. Is it clear? Tulan is not given. But true inclination is given. What is true inclination? All the true length lines will have the true inclination, right? That means uh, the line, the projection MN will have the true length as well as the true inclination. So the projection MN will be inclined at an angle phi with respect to the X-ray line. Is it clear? So we have we know that uh, the line MN or the projection MN will be inclined at an angle phi. So this given that the phi is equal to that. So from this point, at an angle of 30 degrees, draw a line like this. That line will intersect at some point here. That point will be end. That point will be end because all the true length lines will have a true inclination. And when a line is parallel to SP, the projection on SP or the top view or MN will show the true length and true inclination. True length is not given, but true inclination is given. So, from this point, at an inclination of 30 degree, draw a line, that line will intersect the locus line of N, so that we will get the N. Now, once you obtain N, draw a product of true N. This is the true length. So, its opposite projection will be a line parallel to XY. See, this is true length, so its opposite projection will be a line parallel to XY. So, this is our M dash. So, this will be our M dash. So, M dash M dash is obtained as well as Mn is obtained. We can mark the dimensions here. This is 20, this is 10. 60 is already marked up. You can measure this value. You can measure this value and write this value like this. That is our answer. That is the true length of this line. Capital M means it is the true length. So I hope all of you have understood this question. In the previous question, the line was parallel with the HP, and in this question, the line is parallel with the VP. Uh, Sorry, in the previous question, the line was inclined with the HP and parallel with the VP. And in this question, the line is inclined with the VP and parallel with the HP. So, since the line is parallel with the HP, we know that the top view will show the true length. The top view means the MN will show the true length. Here, the true length is not given, but true inclination is given. So, we can utilize that value true inclination to locate the point there. So, I hope all of you have understood this question. So, I hope all of you have understood the introductory concepts related to projection of lines inclined to one of the reference planes and parallel to the other and the two exercises that we have discussed actually these three things that means the production of the lines parallel to both HP and VP production of the projection of the lines perpendicular to one of the reference planes and parallel to other and the projection of the lines inclined to one of the reference planes and parallel to the other forms the basics of engineering graphics because in the next video onwards we are going to study about the projection of lines inclined with both the projections in your examination point of view there will not be asked any questions up to this portion the questions will be asked only from projection of lines inclined to both the planes but for understanding effectively understanding the projection of lines inclined to both the planes you should understood projection of points and the three things that means the projection of lines parallel to both HPVP perpendicular to one of the reference planes and that part we have learned in this video. So I will recap that uh, rules again. When a line is parallel to one of the reference planes, the projection of the line on that plane will have the true length and the projection of the line on the opposite plane will be a line of shorter length and parallel to x y line. All the true length line will show the true inclination. When a projection is parallel to one of the reference planes, its opposite projection will show true length. These are the three rules. Front view is indicated with the A dash B dash. Top view is indicated with the AB. The inclination of the line, true inclination of the line with HP is indicated with the theta. And then the true inclination of the line with line with the BP is indicated with the phi. So I hope all of you have understood these concepts and exercises 
and if you like my videos please subscribe my channel in the next video we will be studying projection of lines inclined to both the planes in particularly the rotating line method thank you